whether you're planning a remodel or you're just looking for some new design inspiration, it's always fun to see the latest in home trends. Interior designer Caitlin Jones Jagar joins me now with what she's seeing in kitchens and living rooms. It's great yes. to talk to you. It's great to talk to you too. Thanks for having me. It's it's not a comeback of the old 70s wallpaper and stuff. These are new inspirations. New, new inspirations, applications new applications, all kinds of things. Yes, it's pretty exciting. Okay, so we've been seeing a lot of white cabinets for yep. a long time. Yep. Colorful cabinets are in. Absolutely. Colorful cabinets are coming in big right Look now. At this. First of all, it's yes. one of my favorite colors, so maybe that's yep. part of why I like it, but that's beautiful. Isn't it great? So this was a kitchen that we did, and it was just a small little redo. So we did countertops, backsplash. We kept the cabinets and painted them in yep. this incredible vibrant blue. One of the super fun things is Pantone just recently announced that their color of the year for 2020 is our classic blue right over here, which oh, is really? very similar to what you just saw. It's this one. This one right here. So we're going to see a ton of blue. I think I a just saw that yesterday blue. with wardrobe. Yep, people absolutely. So Pantone, people look to Pantone for both interiors so and one. wardrobe. Um, and so it's super fun. And I actually think that blue really reads as a neutral. And so you can layer lots of other interests on top of it, but That's it's pretty pretty classic. Interesting you should say that because yeah. I've always thought that about cobalt. It's sort yes. of a neutral. Exactly. So, oh, that's interesting exactly. to know. Okay, let's talk about one of my favorites, mixed metals. Yes. I'm a huge fan. Yes, so gone are the days of the all polished chrome house, matchy matchy, matchy, matchy yeah. polished chrome. Um, so the last several years we've been seeing lots of warm metals come in, um, but what I really think that we're going to be trending towards is lots of mixed metals even within a room. Um, and so, for example, we've got this here where we've got this satin brass with this warm oil rubbed bronze. I think that's beautiful. And I think you can get adventurous with it and have a lot of fun and it really helps um, kind of add a custom element. And that's exactly what we did here. So the cabinet knobs had the mix of both. Mm -hmm. We went with the oil rubbed bronze faucet and then brought this really warm satin brass light <laughs> into it. The thing of it is is that I think a lot of people like me, I like both of these things. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice to have them together, but it looks right. very modern. Right, and different. exactly. And I think people are, can be a little bit afraid to mix things. And I think I say go for it because Good. it's really fun. Well, if we have permission from you, then we yes. can do it. All right, <laughs> so let's talk about wallpaper. We yes. have some photos about Absolutely. the ways in which uh, this is being used. Yeah. Now, when I first look at this picture, mm -hmm. I didn't think there was any wallpaper in it. Tell me exactly. why. And I, I think it. so. I think it's it's sort of a misnomer to call it wallpaper at this point because it really is like <laughs> surface paper. Um, we actually used it in the ceiling. It's something like this, but it adds this warmth and depth. And in, rather than painting it, you can get a lot more um, interest and contrast. Right. So it was it was this. One it was this, sort of but in more of a blue bone. tone. Exactly. And, and this is actually a wool woven paper. And we're also Here. seeing another kind of exactly. Similar you can there. really have a bold um, impact, lots of graphic patterns that work really well for more modern environments. Um, and I think, and that's what that one was a, called walnut wallpaper. They're out of Los Angeles. Um, but then I think it's great, you know, when you're bringing things in for kids, you've got washable and stain oh. repellent finishes, which that are great. So These are really fun. You know, the grass cloth everyone loves. These are actually hand painted on top of the grass cloth. I've so it just adds this other cloth. dimension, I'm glad um, which is back. so wonderful. And those are really big prints, so they make a wonderful impression. It's not exactly. too intricate or too, Exactly. You know, it kind of creates everywhere. texture over the whole room, which I think is, is wonderful. And you mentioned this one, for example, is washable. Yes. So if you wanted to put that someplace where exactly. you just wipe it down if Are they're walking or you me? could put it through a hallway because this is kind of a sophisticated pattern but you can wash it right down and oh. not worry about scuffs and marks where was all of this I when know I it's it so is great I know. It's okay so great one of a kind items which yes. we always associate with being too expensive. Exactly. I can't do that. I can't exactly. commission something or whatever. But you say we kind of can. Yes. And people have thought that it's really um, kind of untouchable. Exactly. So if, for example, here we have this great little um, sitting nook with this custom piece of art that's a figure drawing, um, but it was at an approachable price point. Mm -hmm. And I think um, not only are people wanting to support local artisans and makers, but they're finding that you can find affordable things. We've got this beautiful piece from Jen Chambers. Um, Seattle Art Source this is a one. wonderful source for um, affordable art that adds lots of texture, lots of interest. Um, you're supporting someone locally, but then you're able to get not just a knockoff print on your wall of some right. famous piece of work, but it really elevates 
the Something interior. unique. Exactly. It's Art Source? Seattle Art Source. Seattle Art Source. Mm -hmm. And so the lovely thing there is that we really can look at some pieces that are only ours and be supportive of local artists. Exactly. Which I'm, you know, exactly. Really, really in favor. Exactly. The other thing that's interesting is that in that picture and mm -hmm. these pieces, they're not huge. It's not about buying some six foot something or the no, other. No, no. And one of the things you can do is actually create a mix and more of a gallery wall right. feel that again um, offers the opportunity to bring different textures, different colors, mm -hmm. different points of view, um, but all at approachable price points. And you can add to it over the years, um, so you don't have to just invest in one huge piece in of one art. one huge piece. And it might be that it's all photos and then an art piece as a centerpiece, exactly. something like that. Exactly. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's talk about home technology. Right. I'm a little behind in this, but I'm all for it. So yes. we have a photo here that's so beautiful. So that's above there's the fireplace. Blue, right? it, there's our blue. <laughs> and above that fireplace, that's actually a television. So it's called, the, it's the frame. TV by Samsung. Oh. We've done many of them <laughs> recently. Oh my uh, and so what's great is you can actually download pieces of art mm -hmm. um, from various galleries and all that. You can also upload family photos if you want. But what's so nice is it does actually have a frame on it. It's also more of a matte finish. So you're not just looking at your wall and seeing this big black rectangle. So, <laughs> yeah, so hold on. Yes. When the TV's off, Mm -hmm. We have a matte finished a matte piece finished, of art. Exactly. And one of the things, and kind of going back to what we were talking about with the art here, you can create a gallery wall, which we're doing for a client right now, with the television at the center, and then mix in these other pieces, and nobody would ever be the wiser. That is um, absolute news to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm glad to, glad to hear it. Yeah, so absolutely. When you look for inspiration, let's say I was just trying to Obviously, I might look on Pinterest, but mm -hmm. are there other places you could suggest that we could see some of these trends in action and right. try to imagine them? Right. I think that um, one of the things you can do is go on Instagram. So many people follow various things. You can look at local sources like Gray Magazine. You can look at kind of national. Um, you can look at Lux, mm -hmm. uh, Architectural Digest, and get lots of ideas. They, they are prolific posters right. on Instagram. So that's a great way to look and start following local interior designers who you really like yes. and like their aesthetic and get ideas that way. As it's well. just so amazing to to see what little thing can actually Makes make a huge, a huge difference. Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let me <laughs> put <laughs> myself together. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so that much. Blew my mind. <laughs> Up next, retired General Barry McCaffrey shares his thought on the bombshell reports about U.S. involvement in Afghanistan, the military shooting in Pensacola, and military pardons. We'll be right back.